<laughs> Hello Fresh Start fam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is April's Fresh Start Budgets. Today it is Savings Challenge Saturday where we will take this $220 and apply it into our savings challenges that'll help us fund some of our long-term and short-term sinking funds. All right, let's count the money. Make sure we have what we are supposed to. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we do have the 220 that we're supposed to have. I have two extra singles over here. That is because those are J bucks. J bucks are the J on the $1 bills. And I saved those for my son, Junior, who will be getting his first communion this year at school. So J bucks for Junior, that is what we are saving for. And I have a savings challenge that I sell in my Etsy shop that I use to track these. It is the First Communion Savings Challenge. And again, this is available in my Etsy shop. So I'm going to color in two more of these crosses for these two j bucks. Okay, so there is two more crosses for two more j bucks. Let's go ahead and count and see how many j bucks we have in here. Right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 J bucks. So that's really good. His first communion isn't until May. So we have plenty of time to get the rest of them. I don't think I'm going to use this for the actual party. I think I'm just going to make it be a present for him, um, Junior's J bucks. So that might just be all that this is for. All right, so we will go back to the beginning and start with our 2025-2026 school year tuition. The way we are doing that is I have a $1,000 and a $2,000 minimalist aesthetic savings challenge available in my Etsy shop. I am doing these simultaneously because he needs about $3,000 a year for that. Uh, we do it to the tune of about $65 a week. So today we are going to do the 25 and the 40 so that is 65 and we have 20 40 60 and five okay so junior has a thousand dollars sitting in his 529 and then we have some more in cash here so let's see how much we have so we have that thousand dollars plus we have in cash 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. Okay, so that was 1,395. So we are getting pretty close two more weeks and maybe we'll be able to put in another uh, placeholder and take another $500 to the 529. So that would be awesome. And I wanted to mention, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who sent me well wishes for my father in Florida. Um, I have been in constant communication with him. Unfortunately, he did think that his place had flooded again. Um, he was watching the news and they specifically mentioned his little development that he's in and showed pictures of the flooding while he couldn't go there for three days. So he was freaking out thinking that his place had flooded and it was gone. He was looking on Zillow for a new place. Um, he was just devastated. We'll come to find out that he got contacted by the uh, development that he lives in's manager. And they said, you know, the road is clear if you wanna come back and take a look. And my dad said, just, you know, just tell me how bad is it? And the guy said, oh, it's not bad at all. He goes, well, we've been watching the news. And the guy said, hold on. That's the problem. You've been watching the news. The news was using footage from Hurricane Ian that happened two years ago that did completely like devastate his area. So he said, you only got about two, two and a half feet of water. Um, my dad lives in one of those like mobile home 55 and up developments. So all of the homes are sitting on like cinder blocks and um, it did not breach the door, thank goodness. So all of his stuff on the inside was salvageable. 
Um, he went and checked it out. He's got awnings and siding and stuff that were not damaged in the wind, thank goodness. So they did say that there was probably a little bit of ductwork that needed to be replaced because from the air conditioning unit that got, had taken on some water. But um, otherwise, they are fine. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who kept my father in your prayers and well wishes. It worked, and he is okay, and he is um, safe, and no damage was done to his place. So thank you, guys. I greatly appreciate that. If you are in Florida or in other parts that are still dealing with either Helene or Melton, please let me know how you are doing. Um, I would like to continue to pray for other people that are not so lucky as my father. So um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in, in the comments below. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This is our 2024, and this is from Save with Judy. Oh, my dogs are barking outside. They must hear something. All right, so we are going to color in another pumpkin. All right, and then we're gonna add $5 to this one. And this one has in it 150, 200, 20, 30, 35. So 235 out of a possible 300. All right, so now let's move on to our emergency fund. We are doing the 2025 in 2025. Oh, I should have used a backer for that one. That's okay. Um, so we are going to scratch one of these from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. This is the her 2025 in 2025. We have a total of $65, okay? So we'll scratch one of these and let's see how much this one is for. Okay, this is for $20, 25, I'm sorry. So that means we have $40 left, which is a pretty good amount. So let me put the 25 in this one. Okay, let's see how much we have in here all together. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. Okay, pretty close to our 100. When we, have, when we get 100 in this one, we pull it out and we fill in one of these $100 spots from D Plans and Budgets 2K Subby Giveaway. And then that is how we are doing part of our 20, our emergency fund for 2025. The other part of the emergency fund for 2025 and what we'll do with the remaining $40 that we have earmarked towards this is this one from Needed the Almost Organized Owl. Um, if we have more than what these scratch offs are, which the scratch offs are between two and 20 and we have $40 left, so we will do one of these. We'll be able to handle one of those. We will go ahead and let's do this one right here. Okay. That is a 20. Okay. And then I have another 20 down here, so that'll be the other 40. So we had 25 going into the one from Mischief Manage. I had 20 and another 20 going in here. So that is our 65. So let me go ahead and color this 20 in. Excellent. All right, so now let's see how much is in this one. After we add the $40 that we have for today into this one, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So 130 in this one. Once any of these envelopes reaches 500, we'll put in a placeholder and then put the money into the high yield savings account. All right. So let's move on to our new Christmas challenge. This one is from Budget with Carly, and this is the My Bells Don't Jingle Without Coffee, and that is certainly true of this gal right here. I definitely need coffee in the morning, so let's go ahead and we'll do about 35 on this one. So we have a nine, a seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
let me get out this. I know we're at 19 already, but seven, three, and nine. Okay, we're at 19 plus another seven and an eight. Okay, that is 34. I want to do one more. Uh, yeah, one more. Oh, that one's a 10. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, anytime I say one more, then I get a super big one. All right, so we have $44 going into this one. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, $44 to start off this one. And this is out of a possible 75. So we may be able to finish this one up already next week. All right, so let's go to this Liz and Less one. I am absolutely loving this one. It is the Candy Corny from Liz and Less. I think it is super cute. We're doing about $20 in here every week. So let's this week do the little ghost candy corn for 15. I don't wanna pull her little arm off. There she goes. All right. So a little ghost candy corn for 15. How cute. And then we'll do this little bat one for five. So that'll be the 20. Excellent. All right. Five, 10, 15, 20. And we have in this one all together now, 20, 25, oh, I need to put my money completely in order. Okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 dollars. Awesome. And since we're doing the bottom numbers, this one is out of a possible 100. So we have two more weeks of this one and it'll be done. I absolutely love this candy corny. It is so much fun. All right, now we're going to do our new book challenge, and this is the Book Club from Wild Everest on Etsy. And uh, these amounts are between three and 10. The books here are Dracula, The Shining, Frankenstein, Jekyll and Hyde, and The Complete Works of Edgar Allan Poe. We're gonna do about, I think maybe $10 in this one. And I will tell you guys this week, I read a book called Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. It is a real story about an attorney that, oh, right there, 10 bucks. All right, that one was easy peasy. Um, an attorney who um, was defending somebody that was innocent. And it is, again, it's a true story. There's since been a movie made about it. I have not watched the movie yet, but um, it, it was extremely eye-opening. Um, and he gave facts about certain people in the movie and then he runs an organization um, th so that everybody in the story that he talked about that was, he gave evidence as to why they were innocent. Um, you could you could look up and see their story and their picture and there was um, one or two people that were, um, how do I want to say, unalived in the prison system um, for their crime that they s said there was evidence that they didn't necessarily commit or circumstances that the punishment far exceeded the crime. Um, and you could see pictures of these people. And I mean, the one person I looked up, I mean, they said he was special needs and he just had the most innocent eyes ever. So it was, it was jaw dropping and eye-opening and you know it was it was really interesting read very 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 good book so I highly recommend that one all right so that is it for the book club now we're going to move on to our Ellie on Earth challenge this is the group play from Ellie on Earth let me go ahead and do one of these that is a seven okay 
So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And how much do we have left? We have one, two, three, and four. So I believe we're gonna to go to our catch-all for that one. So this is the group play from Ellie on Earth. I have two more of those to do. Don't know how much the total is going to be, so I'm excited to find out. Oh, let me see how much we have all together in here, though. We have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 dollars. Excellent. All right. Maybe it'll be, if I have two left, about 50 bucks, maybe? 45, 50? I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we are going to go to our catch-all. It is my Hungry for Savings. This is available in my Etsy shop. Um, I color in a fish representing $1, or crabs representing $3, or squids representing 5 And if we have one, two, three, and four, we will go ahead and do four fish today. I am going to do them in this very bright orange color. Um, that is it, you guys, for Savings Challenge Saturday. We're going to put this in here. Let's see how much we have in our catch-all so far. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $15 in here. Awesome. All right, so that is it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not a member of the Fresh Start fam, I would be honored if you would hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. If you are a member of the Fresh Start fam, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you made it to the end, please leave a fish emoji in the comments so that I know that you made it this far. All right, guys, I will see you guys in my Traveling Tuesday video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.